What's up guys? It's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Emerald walkthrough. Okay, so you guys know that I would not let this go. This is my third battle, last opponent right here. I'm going to beat this guy! So this is the last opponent and last Pokemon, and I've been getting my butt kicked, and well, I realized that, hey, I got other Pokemon in my PC that can actually handle this business right here. So that's exactly what I did. I backed up Sage with two guys that can get the job done and... And there we go! How do you like me now? Whew. There it is, guys. The winner is Draven. We won three battles. How splendid! You have beaten three trainers in succession. Please wait a while until I save the game. In commemoration of your three win streak, we present you with this prize. We got ourselves a Hyper Potion. All that for a freaking Hyper Potion, guys. Okay. Alrighty. Thank God we didn't have to use these Pokemon. Oh my God. So, yeah. In our last episode, guys, we went through the battle tent. And uh, <laughs> let's just say it wasn't very successful at all. It really wasn't. So we had to bring out the other guys, Dalsim and Hadouken, in order to help us out. And thankfully, we didn't get to use it, any one of them. So, yeah. I will see you guys, I will see you guys in, in, in like maybe two episodes or so. Anywho, let's go right ahead and continue on our adventure right here. I'm throwing the middle finger out on you guys, I'm throwing it out. Not you guys, but I'm talking about the battle tent. Anywho, in our last episode, Fall Arbor Town, it was nice and splendid. And now we gotta talk to people right here. And of course he likes the fish, so yeah, he wants the fish. Alrighty, so here we gotta go. Regular battles, easy things that I can actually do. So, I'm pretty sure many of you guys already know where this is all going. Um, from what I've been seeing in Pokemon uh, Emerald, these battle tents, you know, they serve as, uh, I guess, precursors to actually help you out in uh, the Battle Frontier. And I am actually thinking of you doing the Battle Frontier, not just with these Pokemon that I have right here, but the Pokemon in Pokemon Fire Red, Leaf Green, these Pokemon, that way I can go in and, you know, actually do something. Now, talk to this guy. All my Pokemon does is roar. No one dares to come near me. Huh. If you would, please take this TM away. And there we go, we got ourselves the TM05, which is Roar. It is really not a, it's really not a great move, but still it could, you know, scare people away. Now, let's see, these people want to battle. Screw it, let's go. And me, I'm not just a pretty face. Not a pretty face, okay. So here we go, taking on Pignicker, Charlotte, not Charlotte Flair, and she will be coming out with a Nuzleaf. And, of course, Fury Attack does its thing. Okay, seriously, I'm not a big fan of Charlotte Flair and her winning the, the championships all the time, but I see what they're doing right there. Anywho, uh, why am I doing this? Hold on, hold on, we gotta go with Sage of the Halo. Yes, the Battle Tent is such a mean place to go. It's a, it's a cruel place, yeah. It is a very, very cruel place to battle, but if you guys want to hone your skills for the uh, Battle Frontier, I would, I would suggest taking a look at those... Uh, those places that way you uh, you guys know what what to expect and bam we defeated that guy so now we can actually grab this found ourselves an energy powder very very good item to actually heal up your pokemon and well if you go down this uh, location right here guys you're going to be finding a lot of fishermen so make sure to have both your electric and grass type pokemon ready for this and well let's go right ahead and just speed this up and goldine nobody likes you Barboak, Barboach, and there we go. Cloud has been defeated, yes. Okay, so that's another one down. Let's move on, and I think she will have some grass types. So let's go right ahead and give some love to Vesuvius right here. Oh my god. I need to exercise after a meal. Let's have a match. Okay, alrighty. So speed it up. And I picked it incorrectly, but magnitude 10 will do it. <laughs> Okay, so let's go straight to Venom, give him some love in. And there we go, Vesuvius grows level 24. I am happy about that. And well, let's see, is there an item around here? No, just fishing spots. No, we found ourselves a revive. Okay. It's very, very good stuff right there. Now, let's see, I gotta, yeah, I gotta go up against some Pokemon right here, but the Pokemon you will find in this area, guys, pretty cool Pokemon, like some Viper. 
I remember playing Pokemon, uh... I remember playing Pokemon, uh, Sapphire as a kid. And I always looked at some Viper as, like, one of those, uh, Arbok replacements and all that stuff. This Pokemon right here, I put him on my team, and it was a pretty good striker. So as you guys can see, Saviper and Zangoose are eternal rivals. It encounters a Zangoose dazzling agility with its sword-like tail, which also oozes a horrible poison. Oh my god, a horrible poison. Okay, so let's move on right here. We're going to be finding ourselves a whole bunch of person berries. Don't want to skip out on those things. And speaking of which, let's go right ahead and speed this up right here. There we go. And another one. There we go. And bam. We're going to go to Lynette's house. If you guys remember last episode, before we hit the battle tent, we met this lady right here, Lynette. Oh, Draven! I'm sorry. Uh, I'm sorry everything is so cluttered. When I get engrossed in research, things end up this way. This is embarrassing. Please keep this as a, sec or as a secret in exchange for this. And we get ourselves the Lotad doll. Lotad doll, of course, you can actually use for, you know, your secret base, which we covered in the last two episodes. I think this guy will actually give you a berry. Yes. So, cool thing about this area, too, guys. You'll be able to find some pretty rare Pokemon. If you're playing Pokemon Ruby, Zangoose will be here. In Pokemon Emerald and in Sapphire, Saviper will be the exclusive Pokemon in this, in this uh, general area right here. And then, uh, let's see, let's go ahead and give our two other level 23 Pokemon some love, too. Alrighty, let's go. And, uh, who taught who? Okay, so let's go right ahead and show her who taught who uh, in Pokemon right here. Obviously, I taught myself in Pokemon. And there we go, we're gonna beat down a Graveler, holy crud. Wow, we're like chomping at the bit right here, so let's go straight for Leaf Blade right here. And just like that we win. Okay, so that was kind of a uh, that was kind of like no care in the world right there, so we need to actually revive our Pokemon right here. Actually, not that guy. Go right here. Actually, let's go right here. Sody Pop usually works, and let's go ahead and keep on battling. Another Pokemon you can actually find right here, too, is Altaria's uh, pre-evolved form. I can't remember its name. It's a little birdie. You guys will see it soon. All right, so let's go sludge attack. And you are poisoned, my friend, so let's go with the pound attack. Sludge attack. We're actually hitting you twice, and look at that, level 24. And we're going to continue on right here, Nuzleaf. Yes, you have been defeated, and Camper Shane has been defeated himself. Okay. Let's see. Let's see if we can actually find some rare items right here. Maybe this? Yes. Found ourselves a Carbos, and let's see. If we switch on our Pokemon, let's go with the X Boom right here. Bam! Foo 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 foo. Want to battle? Want to battle against my Pokemon? Yes, I do. Alrighty, speed it up, and well, we got ourselves a Rock type, and well, there we go. And bam! And X Boom grows to level 24 for himself. And Vesuvius, of course, mooching off our points right here. And he's not too happy right now. Okay. Don't forget what you've done to me. I'll make it I'll make it so you can't forget. Oh wow, he is out for vengeance right here. So let's move on ahead. And since you have a Pokemon with Rock Smash, you can just break into these little suckers. And grab yourself this item, which is a protein. It's very, very good with uh, you know increasing strength of your Pokemon. And there's some staircase right here. You'll never see this in Ruby and Sapphire, but this place right here will be of importance if and when it happens. And, well, it might not happen. It may not. I don't know. Depends. And I have a guy that here that's looking at me all funny. So, let's go right ahead and go with the Sea Blade. And let's go. If you're lighting a campfire, make sure to have water handy. Oh. Let's go. Take it on. Kindler Bernie. And, well, he is coming out with the right Pokemon that I need to beat. And, well, he's coming out with a Wingle. So, let's go with Eggs Boom. And, Uproar Attack for the win. Just like that, we have defeated him. And, let's move on. Of course, he's going to be registering himself on our phone right here. Alright, let's move on. And, we got a double battle ready. If you're not prepared, you shouldn't be up in the mountains. 
Have you made your Pokemon evolve very much? Yes, I have. Alrighty, bring it. So here we have a double battle. Hiker Lucas and Angelina Jolie. And well, let's go right ahead and go against the disadvantages of these Pokemon. And look at that. We're one-shotting these guys. Vesuvius grows to level 25. And it just learned Focus Energy. So let's go right ahead and take away Growl. And well, let's see. Water Gun for this guy. Sludge for that guy. And there we go. And just like that, we have defeated both these guys. Gotta love the speed button right here. And we're gonna get it... <laughs> yeah, we're gonna get it called by a whole bunch of people, which, you know, we really can't do anything about because... I don't know. I really don't know, guys. So here we go, taking on another guy who's yelling, yada lady who I can't even pronounce that. Here we go, taking on Lenny. He doesn't have a Carl right here, so we're just gonna go with Lenny. And if you guys get that reference, that's pretty cool of you. You still watch it. Okay, so... Here we are, Meteorite Falls. How's it going? Okay, so not Meteorite Falls, but Meteorite Falls. Different color than in Ruby and Sapphire. This is, this is a, well, the, the color in here has toned down just a tad bit. But if you're playing Ruby and Sapphire, it is a, a nice pristine gold. And before we get attacked by anything, let's go ahead and put on a repel. And, well, let's see. Go ahead and switch. Let's go with uh, Sage of the Halo right here. So bring it. So here you have these two Team Magma members. He's like, hey, <laughs> with this mini right, that thing in the mound chimney will. Uh oh. Huh? I don't know who you are, but if you get in our way, Team Magma don't expect no any mercy. Hold it right there, Team Magma. You're badly mistaken if you think you can handle your way or you can have your way in, the, in this world. And, whoa, look at that, it's Team Aqua. <laughs> Even Team Aqua joins us. But it's too much trouble to deal with uh, you all. Heh, <laughs> it doesn't matter. We've got the meteorite, so off to Mount Chimney we go. <laughs> Be seeing you, you Team Aqua Dingbats. Oh, wow, the insults. And, oh, wow. Didn't I see you before? At the Slateport Museum. Ah, so your name is Draven. At the time, I thought you were one of the Team Magma goons. Hmm, <laughs> you're one odd kid. Team Magma is a dangerous group of uh, total fanatics. They engage in destruction, claiming to expand the landmass. They are rivals to us, the sea-loving Team Aqua. Huh? Boss? We should give a chase to Team Aqua. Yes, yes, we must. There's no telling Team Magma will we'll do in Mount Chimney. Draven, you should keep an eye out for Team Magma too. Farewell. Oh, wow. Okay. And, well, that's a total... Change and well, here is Professor Cosmo, and he's like, uh, I'm Cosmo, I'm a professor. Team Magma asked me to guide them to the meteor falls, but they tricked me. They even took my meteor away. And then another similar bunch of Team Aqua showed up. After that, I don't understand any of it. But that Team Magma, what are they going? What are they going to do with that meteorite at, Ma at Mount Chimney? Um, I don't know. Cause the destruction of the world? I don't know. We're just gonna grab a Moonstone, okay? All right, so that right there is that, but we can actually go out here, and we're gonna be finding ourselves some ex some different trainers, and that's exactly what we're gonna be doing, guys. We're gonna be battling. We need to raise up our levels because in the next episode, it's gonna get a little crazy. Like many of you kids say, it's gonna be a little cray cray. My strongest skill is busting bricks with my forehead. Concussion protocol is calling you, homeboy. So here we go, taking on Black Belt Knob, and we're gonna be we're gonna be doing this. Sea Blade grows 27, and of course we're gonna get his phone number because, well, you know, I, I guess we're popular. So let's go ahead and use this uh, Rock Smash and grab this little item. We found ourselves a great ball, a very good item. And, well, let's go ahead and not do that. There are trainers waiting for us. And grab ourselves some blueberries. And, well, let's see. Let's go right here. There is a trainer waiting for us right there, too. So let's go ahead and take on her. This beach is my secret training spot. Don't come butting in. Oh, wow. Everybody is, like, so angry nowadays, I swear. Okay, so here we go, Battle Girl Cindy, and she would like to battle, and she's coming out with her Meditite. Oh, I cannot wait to use my Meditite, so let's go ahead and switch it up. There we go, Wing Attack, Makuhita, eat this, and that is how you feel. Look at that, okay, alrighty. 
Thank you, thank you very much. And okay, yeah. We get her phone number too. We're that popular, we're cute. In real life, I don't know. Okay, so let's see. Um, yeah, we're gonna give Venom a, a little help right here, and we probably should give X Boom a little love too. Zigzag Goon, you're not doing your part, man. You gotta pick up some stuff, man. You really do. And we're gonna be using some of this Sodi Pub right here for X Boom. And let's go ahead and battle. I have a rare Pokemon. Would you like to, me to show you? You've disturbed my meditation. You'll be punished for it. Oh, oh damn. Okay, so here we go, taking on, well, Psychic Type Trainer, Psychic Marlene, and Collector Hector. Let's go right ahead and start battling some people right here. Let's go with a Sludge Tech on you, and Uproar, and there we go, and bam. Look at that. Okay, so I thought we were going to be at a type disadvantage right here, but it still seems that way. And Uproar right here. And just like that, so Viper goes. Vesuvius grows to level 25, or 26, I should say. And just like that, we have defeated our two trainers right here. Gaining some more experience points. That's always a nice thing, guys. Experience points. And we grab the final item right here, and we found ourselves a PP up. That's always nice. Okay. So, I guess that has been our adventure in Fall Arbor Town all the way to the Meteorite Falls. So what's going to happen now, guys, is we're going to be making our way straight to Mauville. And we're going to we're gonna do a little, uh, a few things before we get into the next, the next thing. And that is the, I guess, you know, the Granite Ridge? I don't know. The Granite? I don't, yeah, it's, it's, the, it's the volcano. We're going to have to go to the volcano and all that stuff. So, yeah. And uh, first things first, we actually, hold on just a sec. Talk to her. There was a man who dug into the tunnel. A lady who loved. He don't really get. Okay, never mind. And well, let's see. I think we've already been. No, we didn't go to this battle tent. Yeah. Okay. So we might do that eventually at some point. But we're gonna be going straight to Mauve Hill and finishing up our episode right there. In the next one, we're gonna be taking on Team Magma and all its goons and whatnot. And from there, go straight into, I believe, um, let's see, Lava Ridge Town. Yes. So, thank you guys again for watching. Thank you guys for being patient, as always. I will see you guys in the next episode as we take on Team Aqua or Team Magma. See you guys.